I get accused a lot about being obsessed with talking about race. People say, you're obsessed with talking about race. You're obsessed with talking about race. Really, in America, I'm obsessed with talking about race in America? Do you know who would disagree? Trayvon Martin's parents, probably. I think Oscar Grant's family would disagree. I think anybody in Guantanamo and their families would disagree. I think anybody who's a victim of racism every single day in America would agree that I am not obsessed with talking about racism in America. Accusing me of being obsessed with talking about racism in America is like accusing me of being obsessed with swimming when I'm drowning, all right? And that was the slam poetry section of the show. I'm not the one. I'm not the one that's obsessed with talking about race in this country. I'm not the one, right? I'm not the one who keeps bringing up 2042. How come I keep hearing about the year 2042 on the news? 2042, for those of you who don't know, is the year where according to census figures, white people will be the minority in this country, right? They'll be 49%. No, who gives a shit? Honestly, who gives a shit? Why do I have to keep hearing about this? This number is not important to me. Are there white people in this country? That's who it's for, by the way. White people are freaking out. Are there white people in this country who are actually freaked out about this? Don't worry, white people. You were the minority when you came to this country. <laughs> Things seem to have worked out for you, all right? But here's the bigger point. Here's the bigger point, right? 49% white doesn't make you the minority. That's not how math works, right? 49% white is only the minority if you think the other 51% is exactly the same, right? It only works if you think, well, it's 49% white people and 51% you people. That's the only way that works. Because that 51% is not a united front, okay? And it's easy to find out. Just ask a black guy and a Korean guy what happens when the black guy walks into the Korean guy's store, all right? I bet you the interaction might not be pleasant. I bet you it's not gonna be like, hey, teammate. How's it going, teammate? Pretty excited, you? 2042, am I right? It's not. That's not what's happening. There's some historic tension there. It's not a united front. And some of you might be thinking, well, hurry, you're saying that 51% is not exactly the same, but you're assuming that all white people are the same. Yes. No, no, of course not. I'm joking, right? Because white isn't a thing. Race isn't a thing, right? It's a social construct. It's a way to devise. It's not real. And we know there used to be signs in this country that said no blacks, no Irish, no dogs, right? The Irish weren't white. The Jews weren't white. The Italians weren't white, right? Race is a way to devise. It's not real. And the people of color in this room, you know this. Because when you ask your white friends what their cultural heritage is, they don't just say white. They give you a math equation. Huh? Well, I'm, I'm a third German and a fourth Irish and one sixteenth Welsh and one fortieth Native American for college applications. I mean, you know... Know how this works. <laughs> waiting for 2042 is like waiting for Godot, all right? You're wasting your time and there's nothing to wait for. 